This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at voltaic cells. Here we have a diagram of a voltaic cell, which is also known as a galvanic cell. A voltaic cell is made up of two half cells. On the left, we have a zinc half cell. On the right, we have a copper half cell. A half cell is composed of a metal electrode in a solution of its ions. For example, we have a zinc electrode in a solution of zinc 2 plus ions. In the copper half cell, we have a copper electrode in a solution of copper 2 plus ions. The two half cells are connected by a wire and a salt bridge. The electrons flow in the wire from the negative electrode, which is the anode, to the positive electrode, which is the cathode. At the negative electrode, which is the anode, the zinc atoms are oxidized to form zinc ions and electrons. The electrons then flow in the wire to the copper half cell. Because the zinc electrode is undergoing oxidation, the mass of the electrode decreases. As we just saw, the electrons flow to the copper electrode from the zinc electrode. The copper ions in solution gain electrons to form copper atoms, which is reduction. Because the copper ions are being reduced to form copper atoms, the mass of the copper electrode increases. So as we just saw, oxidation occurs at the anode, which is the negative electrode, and reduction occurs at the cathode, which is the positive electrode. The metal that's higher in the activity series is oxidized, and the metal lower in the activity series is reduced. Because zinc is higher in the activity series than copper, the zinc is oxidized, and the copper 2 plus ions are reduced. And here we have the net ionic equation for the reaction. Next we look at the function of the salt bridge. The salt bridge completes the circuit and keeps the half cells electrically neutral. Negative ions migrate from the salt bridge to the anode. Positive ions migrate from the salt bridge to the cathode. This salt bridge is made of potassium nitrate. The electrolyte in the salt bridge is chosen so that it doesn't interfere with the reactions that take place in the half cells. As you can see, the negative nitrate ions migrate from the salt bridge to the anode, and the positive potassium ions migrate from the salt bridge to the cathode. By doing so, they keep the half cells electrically neutral. So let's end with a summary. In a voltaic cell, oxidation occurs at the anode, which is the negative electrode, and reduction occurs at the cathode, which is the positive electrode. The electrons flow from the anode to the cathode in the wire, producing an electric current. The salt bridge completes the circuit and keeps the half cells electrically neutral. Anions migrate from the salt bridge to the anode, and cations migrate from the salt bridge to the cathode.